Wish I could roll back down to the old town. Oh, hi! Gonna take my horse to the old town road. Gonna ride till I can't no more. Gonna take my horse to the old town road. Gonna ride till I can't no more. Frida! Frida, stop! Oh, that's having fun! Bye, guys. See you later. Oh, Ted Road! Oh, Frida. Frida, why are you so crazy? All right, second graders, let's do this phonics. I just have a little bit of review stuff for you guys. Just some reminders. Um, so I think in your phonics, it gives some clear directions, and it's stuff you've done. So uh, let's get going here. Um, when we talk about common and proper nouns, remember the common is uh, the noun that's not going to be capitalized, it's just an everyday word. So here's an example. A common noun could be boy, but a proper noun might be Bob. All right, the specific name of a boy, and it's capitalized. Common, candy. Proper could be Skittles. Okay. Store is common. Proper could be Ray. Okay. Um, I know on maybe like your third phonics sheet for week four, it has these possessive phrases that it wants you to make. And so um, it gives you a sentence, but you just have to make a phrase. You don't have to make a complete sentence. So here, here's an example. Um, this actually is the first sentence in that one. Emma has some earmuffs. All right, so they want you to make it possessive. Whose earmuffs? It's Emma's apostrophe S showing possession. Emma's earmuffs. So that's what you'll do for that one. All right. The desk has dents. So whose who's dents are they? They're the desk's dents. So you'd write desk's apostrophe S, dents to show possession. Okay, um, just a reminder that I am on the four types of sentences. You have declarative, which are your regular sentences. Uh, but sometimes these two can be confusing. Imperative. I am stands for imperative, which is a command. Okay. And just the single I stands for interrogative sentence, interrogative, which would be a question. All right. So just some helpful hints to remind you. And then finally, uh, they'll have you separate the complete subject from the complete predicate, which we do in grammar. Uh, remember, the key is to find the verb. Okay, once you found the verb, you can separate it, and you're good to go. So, what are what's the subject doing? That's what you're looking for. Bobby and Frida danced in the gym. Okay, so what do they actually do? Or doing? They dance. That's the action. Okay. So we know the division line would go right before danced the verb, and Bobby and Frida, the stuff before the line is underlined once, the stuff after is twice. Alrighty, see you guys.